Hey, what's up? I wanted to take a little ride down uh, memory lane as far as the vinyl is concerned. So uh, I was born in 1969. My brother, um, I have a, five year, a brother that's five years older than me, and um, he's always been into really cool stuff. And over the weekend, he gave me all of the albums. So these are the albums that when I was a kid, uh, he would leave and I would sneak into his room and just go and put these on the turntable with my headphones and just veg out and and just get into all the cool stuff. So I was privileged to be turned on to really cool stuff. And these are the actual albums that did it for me. And this is one of the reasons that I play guitar today. So tons of Ted Nugent. My brother was really into Ted Nugent. He had all the stuff on the walls. Um, Weekend Warriors, um, Free For All, Awesomeness. Um, some of them are pretty messed up, you know. He didn't really take care of them, but you know, check this out. The Nooch, he signed it. Yeah, man. Cat Scratch Fever. So these, man, I just, I listened to this stuff so many times. It's so, it was so cool to just look through this collection again. And uh, it's really cool that I can bring it home and <laughs> and listen to it. Um, Eric Clapton. And this one, man, I just wore this thing out all the time. Really cool stuff, Cheap Trick. Fandango, uh, Blue Jean Blues, man, that was just, Aerosmith, I would look at this stuff for hours being like, man, this is, I gotta play guitar, this is cool stuff. This one was probably one of my favorite, I think it's the best Scorpions album they've ever done, um, really cool stuff, this was 1980, 1980, cool stuff, man, so I was 10 years old in 80, um, Rainbow, Richie Blackmore. Again, one of the main reasons that I play guitar is because I was able to listen to stuff like this. Uh, it just be really dive deep into it. Uh, one of the best rock and roll vocalists out there. Bad Company. Gatefold here. Boston, man. It doesn't get much better than that. That's that's about as um, that's about as good as it gets. I own three of those albums. So KISS was where it really all started for me because I was about six years old and my parents got me all these albums as well. But these are my brother's albums, you know, KISS. And it just, I would look at this stuff for hours because I was into comic books and this was just the coolest stuff ever for me. Because then it was music and this, I remember inside of it, it had a big sticker um, of the cover, which was really cool. Um, that said... Uh, I do have some, there's some of the solo albums and stuff here that you can see. Um, so he, he has all those, gave them to me. Um, and I have already had the solo albums and they came with these posters. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but there's four posters. I have three of them. So there's the Ace Pelt poster and they're like a puzzle. So they all fit together. And there's the Paul poster. And... Gene. So yeah, like I said, these all fit together, as you can see. Uh, I guess this goes into the Peter Peter poster, and I don't have that one. But these were these all came inside of the solo albums. Um, so I, I'm gonna hang on to these, and maybe I can one day find the Peter at a half price books or something. That'd be awesome. Um, and I do have one of these. This came in the Kiss Alive two. Um, I got the Ace really. I guess that's the really important one to have, right? And then, um, so other Kiss albums. I mean, Love Gun. I remember when my brother got this. You can see that's supposed to be their blood. Um, but it also came with a rubber band gun. It was like a little Love Gun cardboard thing, and you could put rubber bands on it and shoot it. Um, that's where it all started, obviously. Good stuff. Some of these are... Pretty messed up. The vinyl's in great shape. You know, we've got the Casablanca. <laughs> How cool is that, man? 1974. I was four years old when this came out. Destroyer. Ah, oh, man. God of Thunder. That's just gold. Let's see what this thing is. Oh, yeah. Get up. Everybody gonna move their feet. Dynasty. You know, some people don't like this one. I actually... It's one of my favorite Kiss albums. I just think it's got a 
It's well produced. Um, and so I have two of those actually. And I have, again, like I said, I've got my own Kiss Alive. Um, and just hours and hours. Side four. Oh, so awesome. Hotter than hell. <laughs> no. And if you look on the web, you can find some really cool stuff about this photo shoot they did. It was kind of off the chain. Ah, Dress to Kill. Such a good album, man. Such a good album. Just good stuff. The old Casablanca stuff still in there. There's some kind of abstract stuff here. The Soul to Soul. It's a compilation, I guess. Some Ike and Tina are in that. And then Angel. If you guys never heard of these, I actually have this album as well. Because a lot of what my brother would get, <coughs> my parents would buy for me as well. Um, really cool album. Uh, this is the second, I guess I think this is the second one they did. Um, if you never noticed, but Angel, A-N-G-E-L. A-N-G-E-L. And that's one of the coolest logos ever. The Now Explosion. So it's one of those hit things. Uh, I don't see a date on this. Um, no sleeve. The Now. 1974. Saturday Night Fever. I think this was mine. I actually had a girl's number written on it, which is cool. And I would sneak into my brother's room and listen to these things. <laughs> he has this one and the Robin Williams. And there's actually, there's two of them. There's a, uh, a Richard Pryor in, in here without the cover. So there's two of them in here. And I don't know what year this is, but nevertheless, rest in peace, good old buddy. I would listen to this for hours. This is 1979, Robin. And then he's got some newer stuff. This is a docking that was actually never opened. Um, who knows where he got that. And then, uh, I guess I was in college when he got this one. Um, little Angvay. Oh, so, that's it, man. Um, awesomeness. So cool to be able to go down memory lane with all my old albums and stuff. And the stuff that I was influenced with as a musician. So, rock on.